Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Hager. This is their part number 3929 SC US 2060. This is an ASA strike for a deadbolt for their 3200 series uh, deadbolt. This is an ASA strike, except that the preparation in the plate itself is not um, appropriate for a lock set because it's uh, rectangular in shape without any sort of uh, variation to the rectangular attitude of the hole through the plate because it's specifically for deadbolts. Okay, this is four and seven eighths tall, and that's known as a uh, an ASA strike. There was a committee once upon a time of all of the very different uh, governing agencies within the hardware industry who got together and uh, all agreed on a standard strike, the ASA. Uh, ASA is an acronym for that governing body that once assembled uh, became a new governing governing body. Four and seven eighths. Okay. Um, overall width of the strike, about inch and seven eighths. The important part with strikes like this is generally the lip length, but when you're doing a deadbolt, it doesn't matter. I probably would have thought a blunt ended uh, lip compatible with the exterior face of the frame would be more appropriate so that there is no hanging hardware off the face of the frame whatsoever, but this is what you get when you buy that from Hager. The distance from the center line of the hole to the edge of the lip, it's about an inch and three eighths. Now, the, and then the center line of the screw holes, that's a standard. Obviously, when you're dealing with a hollow metal frame, it's about 4 and 3 sixteenths. I forget what that dimension actually is. Now, there is a link below this video to some documents. First of all is the metal door template, which will give you all of those dimensional properties. <clears throat> uh, we'll also give you the width and height of the hole in the plate for the deadbolt, uh, for the deadbolt, they've got it at one and a sixteenth wide, and that's uh, tall. I'm sorry, I'm doing the width first. They've got it at 0 0.70. The caliper says it's 0 0.703. The height, they've got it at 1.06. The caliper says that it's 1.062. Okay, that's important. That's going to be right in the center line of the uh, of the strike as well. This white film you see is just a peel away protective film covering the strike finish. They call this satin chrome, but this is actually brushed stainless. And the, uh, this is a piece of steel with a, with, a with a satin chrome plating on it. Uh, I expected that to be stainless. It is a piece of steel with a satin chrome finish. It would be appropriate to actually call this 652 rather than US 2060 because that would infer the base material is steel. There's also a link below this video to the wood door template, which is handy because the preparation, the mortising for the strike in wood is different than, uh, than if it was a steel sort of application. Then finally, there's a link below this video to the product catalog, which is the 3200 series deadbolt product catalog. And you can see uh, in that document, not only the entire series of deadbolts itself, but all of the constituent parts that would go along with this uh, series of deadbolt, namely the 3929 strike, the 3930 standard strike as well are there. Uh, screws are included, and it's very common to, give a, to get a combination screw. Well, you have wood thread down at the bottom, and then machine threads here up at the top. That's, that will allow you to use this in either a wood or a steel frame application. That's a 1224 thread, and if you look at the underside of that head, that's what they call a flat undercut head. So it's a flat head, but it's undercut, and that allows you to install a large diameter screw onto a thin piece of material, uh, which would be the strike itself. And the thickness of that strike, it's probably about 100 thousandths, but it's called out on the template, I'm sure. Uh, not 0 0.094, so 0 0.094 thick. It's going to be the same thickness as a residential hinge. Finally, finally for sure this time, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Hager products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Now, the name Hager is quite synonymous with practically everything in the door and frame industry itself, except for the door and frame itself, but all the hardware 
but it's their namesake, Hager Hinge, that they're most widely known for. Everything as it pertains to commercial, residential, institutional, industrial, uh, prison application hinges, continuous geared hinges, but they do everything for the opening. They'll be able to sell you the hinges, the door closers, the lock sets, the exit devices, the trim and auxiliary hardware, the weather stripping, the accessory hardware, sliding bifold bypass, uh, pocket door hardware as well. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Decorative hardware, they can do ladder poles, things of that nature. That link below this video to the manufacturer's page will allow you to pull up the full line catalog, uh, th uh, all the Hager products we sell, and a link to the manufacturer's website as well. If you have any questions on the Hager 3929 ASA Strike or any other Hager product, please feel free to reach out to us. And